So my name is Andrew, I'm the owner of Slapfish Restaurant. What we did is, is that we decided that there wasn't a, a hole in the market for high quality seafood at fast casual prices. So what we actually do is we take the quality fine dining combined with the cost and the convenience of fast food. So it's kind of a modern seafood check. Our concept is 100% driven, well not 100%, but 90% driven on social media. It's driven by our consumers. We look at our Yelp reviews every single day to make sure that people are responding and we make changes according to that. But what we love about Love It is, is that the customers can come in and they can actually produce genuine videos about the food. It's real. It's not promoted. So we, we would use Love It to market our company. Number one is, is that anybody that shoots a Love It video in here, we're going to give them some type of incentive, whether it's a percentage off, whether it's a free dish. Number one, making sure that people are utilizing the resources there. And then we'd also use it in, by encouraging and posting the videos as well through our various social media resources. And that's what we're huge on. The more content that's produced by our users as opposed to us producing the content, which is somewhat genuine, but never as genuine, the better. When people are shooting video of what they're eating as opposed to taking pictures or just writing about it, I feel as if people are getting the actual experience. So the value for the customer to see the videos on the social network is, is that they can interpret it what they will. They can see what's true and what isn't. They can literally see it right there in the video. In addition to the fact that I feel as if when you know certain members of the social media world communicate with each other, there's a little bit more legitimacy that's added to it, and credibility, and I think that's really important for the customer so that they can see it going on, they can see it happening. And there's also value that we can place on the content because we can't go out there and hire a videographer. We can, it's going to come with a significant price tag to hire somebody to shoot video and, and images of our food and dining experience, and that's the most important part, is, is videotaping the experience as well. So when that content is produced through our customers, when that content is produced through the people that are coming in here day in and day out, the value that's placed on that is to some capacity, I mean, you can't really put a price tag on it. Then the ability for it to viral on its own, you know, I mean, there's a significant value to that as well. So the content itself is really what we find we're excited about. That's, that's the whole thing. We can create various incentives. We can create sweepstakes to some capacity. We can also create uh, Love It themed and focused events where when people use their videos, we give them percentages off. Or the best video gets a particular uh, prize at the end. Or having bringing people together, and when they're all shooting videos together, kind of synergizing that experience in that event, and then giving them all a multi-course meal for a, a you know a small small price. So in my mind, the opportunities continue to go. I mean, I even think about creating a little bit of a stage that's a Love It booth here, where people come in and they you know when they're a member of Love It, they get that particular area to sit in. I think about every time I go to a, a Japanese restaurant, and I want that area over in the corner that's got the curtains. And, how special do I have to be to get that? I mean, we can set a, a specific area in the restaurant that's a love it table and people can, you know, as long as they're videotaping and utilizing the platform, they get this unique special experience only for them. So the opportunities really are open-ended. Video content is king. If we can get people to come in here and shoot videos, it's live, it's real, you see it, it's, uh, you know, it's for you to interpret exactly what you're seeing as opposed to just being, you know, somebody's opinion that they're writing in a back room under an alias. You know, there, that's the other thing too, is, is that with video, it takes the, the secrecy away from it. You know, people can't hide behind a, a screen name. Who do you, who's really writing that review? You know, when you see video, unless you're wearing a costume, <laughs> which we encourage, take the marketing aspect aside, take away the idea of, you know, making all this book go viral. I'm a business owner and somebody comes in and they're videotaping their experience here. And there's things that I don't like in there. Okay, I'm seeing how silverware is being placed on the table, I'm seeing the place set up, I'm seeing all of that, and it's not right. That gives me the opportunity as a business owner to make the right changes as well. It's like a secret shopper. You know how much people pay for secret shoppers? I mean, if I wanted to bring a secret shopper service in here, I would have to pay, you know, three to five hundred dollars for minimal service a month for a secret shopper. Now I have secret shoppers coming in and videotaping and providing the content as opposed to just a random survey. You know, that's a subscription-based service right there. <laughs> I look at spending money on various services is what am I gaining from that? For example, spending money on secret shoppers, spending money, spending money for, for the various market research, or even if I'm giving money to a new and upcoming online platform in which we can expand our reach through the web, 
there's value to that. There's a lot of value to that. Traditional advertising, putting ads in newspapers, is, is a waste of time in our, in our, from our perspective. I'm putting $300, $500 a week into an ad. I don't know who's reading it. I don't know how many people are coming in because of that ad, as opposed to actually subscribing to a service where I'm getting content from it. I'm getting customers that come in, and it's immediately trackable. It's, it's kind of pay as you go in the sense that if people are coming in here shooting a love it video, then I know they've come here for that purpose. We incentivize them by giving them a discount, but now I at least know that the person I'm spending money on came into the restaurant, and that's valuable for us.